2016 was a good year for Singapore. We have set global records in 2016 Olympic Games. Joseph Schooling received the gold medal in the 100m butterfly. Yip Ping Xiu and Teresa Goh who broke records at the Paralympic Games. Singapore economy grew 1.8% in 2016, stronger than expected. The economic growth quickened to the fastest pace in more than three years last quarter as manufacturing and service rebounded. Some analysts say that Singapore has dodged recession, but economy may stay in slow mode. So, in 2017, the government committee is charged with finding strategies to keep Singapore's economy competitive and to identify areas of growth. So, in 2016, how did the private non landed condo market perform? The top three most popular condos are Caribbean at Keppel Bay, located at District 4, which consists of Tolok Langa and Harbourfront. The Bay Shore, located at District 16, which consists of Baduk, Upper East Coast. The Quartz, located at District 19, which consists of Serangoon, Aogang and Pongo. In Core Central Region, the most popular condos are the sale at Marina Bay, which sold 29 units. Rivergate sold 27 units. Icon sold 26 units. In rest of Central Region, besides Caribbean at Keppel Bay, which tops the chart for 2016, we have Signature Park and Costa Road. And for outside Central Region, the Bayshore tops the chart, followed by the Quartz and Melville Park. And the most expensive condos across Singapore in terms of PSF, Nassim Park Residences at $3,480 The Orchard Residences at $3,173 Hugh Tops at $3,078 The exorbitant prices are mainly due to the central location that is easily accessible. To find out more about condo project listings, floor plans, market X value, just chat with Savvy. Chat with Savvy on Facebook Messenger and srx.com.sg and if you need a mortgage, you now no longer need to make a trip to the bank. SRX Mortgage Connect seamlessly allows you to buy your dream home efficiently. Now, let's review the numbers for December 2016. In terms of price, private condo resale prices inched up by 0.4% in December 2016 compared to that of November 2016. Core Central Region, which includes Marina Bay, Orchard and Bukit Timah areas remain unchanged in December. Rest of Central Region, which includes areas like Topayo, Bishan and Katong, decreased by 0.5% over the previous month. On the other hand, outside Central Region increased by 1.2%. Year-on-year, prices increased by 0.1%. Core Central Region posted a 1.8% increase over the same month last year. On the other hand, rest of Central Region recorded a price decrease of 0.9%, and outside central area posted a decrease of 0.4% over the previous year. In terms of volume, according to data compiled by SRX Property, an estimated 484 private units were resold. Compared to its previous month, December's volume represented a 21.7% decrease. Year on year, resale volume in December 2016 was 6.8% higher compared to 453 units we sold in December 2015. Which location had the highest median transaction over X value? District 10, which consists of Bukit Timah, Holland Road, Tangling, posted the highest median TOX at positive $24,000. This means that a majority of the buyers in District 10 purchased units above market X value. And which location had the lowest median transaction over X value? District 3, which consists of Queenstown and Tiong Bahru, posted a TOX of negative $27,000. This means that the majority of the buyers in District 3 purchase units below market X value. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this episode of XTV. Please join us next time when we highlight Singapore's rental market. I'm Amanda Tan. Have a good day.